share our own knowledge, teaching, learning, and research practices within this university, may we also pay respect to the knowledge embedded forever within the Aboriginal custodianship of the country. On behalf of the cohort of the Diction Units for the for undergraduate students of the Sydney Conservatorium of Music, Matthew and I would like to welcome you to the third Dumont Dreyfus Song Competition. My name is Nina. Matthew and I are part of tonight's presenting team. The members of our team are looking forward to leading you through today's finals. Nina und ich begrüßen Sie im Namen der Kohorte des Diktionskurses für Studenten des Konservatoriums für Musik zum dritten Vermont Dreikurs Liederwettbewerb. Mein Name ist Matthew. Nina und ich sind Mitglieder des Teams, das Sie durch den heutigen Wettbewerb führt. Please welcome today's special guests the Consul General of the Federal Republic of Germany, Axel Seidler, and Krista Dale, representative of the Australian German Welfare Society, and the jury panel, Barry Ryan, OAM, Stephen Yaluris, and Marie Ryan, AM. Ich liebe es, eine fleischige Schülerin zu sein. Wir arbeiten hart in allen Fächern, besonders in Deutsch. Harte Arbeit ist so wichtig. Ich lerne hart in der Bibliothek und zu Hause. Organisation und Pünktlichkeit ist das A und O. Ich begrüße alle zum ersten Woche von philosophischen und sozialen Implikationen des subindischen Interpretationstanzes. Oh, Entschuldigung, wir gehen schon so früh, oder? Oh, nein, ich bin ein Stil. Setzen! Ich liebe zu singen. Rushi? Rushi? Diese Noten. Es gibt viele Dinge, worauf man sich hier freuen kann. Vor allem auch die Deutschkenntnisse. Denk dran, die Regel. Deutsche Essentials. Sehr gut, ja. Fabulous. Fabulous. Natasha Isabella Gesto, known affectionately by her family as La Locura, was a sweet and quiet baby at first. You see, locura is the Spanish word for crazy, and it was upon meeting baby Natasha that her abuela proudly declaimed, Natasha will be loud like me, and much to her parents' dismay, she was right. So right, in fact, that Natasha decided to make a career out of it. Throughout her life, Natasha has loved performing, whether it be an extravagant performance to her loving audience of teddy bears and dolls as a kid or on the real stage. However, the catalyst was when she watched the movie titled Amadeus and she heard the Queen of the Night aria and Mozart's Requiem in D minor. So enchanted by these pieces, kindergarten Natasha set her heart on music and began her studies at the ANU with piano, then voice. Natasha felt a great pride when she performed in the work that inspired her musical journey, performing as soprano soloist for Mozart's Requiem in D minor in 2020. 
but it wasn't until she performed as the soprano soloist in the Poulenc Gloria with orchestra and choir did Natasha start to feel like her childhood dreams were coming true. It isn't just opera that has enchanted Natasha's life. Natasha has always loved Japanese anime. She eventually decided to learn Japanese and at age 16 lived in Japan for two months, where she even joined a rock band with her fellow classmates. Through these anime, Natasha also realised her love for history, believing that in a past life, Natasha was definitely an adventuring archaeologist. Natasha credits her kooky personality to the somewhat strange anime, fantasy and historical media she's consumed throughout her life. If Natasha isn't singing, you can most often find her in her room she has dubbed her Orange Fortress, reading books next to her beloved bookshelf, watching anime and historical garment YouTube videos, or dancing with her pet rabbit, Pippin. Natasha has always believed it has been in her blood to travel and move overseas, with her immediate family heralding from Uruguay, South America, and before that, Spain and Italy. Natasha longs to follow the family tradition of travel, but with the added magic of being the travelling opera singer. Natasha singt für sie zwei Lieder von Hugo Wolf, Der Genesene an die Hoffnung und Lied vom Winter. Ihr letzter Beitrag ist Briechen schrieb ich von Alexander von Zemlinski. Our contestants are accompanied by one of our finest collaborative pianists, David Miller, AM. Please welcome Natasha Gesto and David Miller.
Aidan O'Donnell was born at a very young age in the suburb of Ashbury. Aidan grew up surrounded by music. A born showman, he performed in the Steadfords as a boy soprano alongside his sister. He has since outgrown his boy soprano days and moved on to other endeavours, including a lockdown stint where he uploaded a cappella arrangements to SoundCloud. Life can't always be about music though. In his spare time, Aiden enjoys playing basketball and watching basketball, as well as camping and hiking. In the future, he would like to hike the Larapinta Trail in the Northern Territory, a 220 kilometer, 16 day end to end walk, whose highlights include Alice Springs, Simpson's Gap, and the watering hole at Glen Helen. Auf dem Flusse von Franz Schubert, frage nicht vom Hugo Wolf und unter blühenden Bäumen von Alexander von Semlinski. Please welcome to the stage Aidan O'Donnell and David Miller.
soprano Sophie Moller. Sophie grew up in Tasmania, where she spent her childhood learning to dance, specifically ballet. A talented sportswoman, Sophie played netball and was a keen rower. She led her school eight to success at the Tasmanian State Championship. Nowadays, Sophie can be found climbing the walls. Literally, she recently took up rock climbing in 2021. Sophie is a keen outdoor adventurer. You can find her going on hikes and camping trips all year round. Indoors, Sophie loves to bake along with hosting delightful afternoon teas and dinner parties. As a child, Sophie was very interested in music, taking singing lessons with the aim to be a pop star. However, when she was 14, the opportunity arose to sing with the Opera Australia Children's Chorus in their regional tour of the Magic Flute. This ignited a spark in Sophie. Bye was the dream of pop stardom, and Sophie began to only focus on classical singing. Although there was a newfound joy in classical singing, Sophie didn't think she'd pursue it. Instead, having her dreams set on studying to become a lawyer. When it was first suggested that she audition at the Sydney Conservatorium, she was hesitant, as she did not believe she could get in. How proud young Sophie would be now to see her take the stage. Sophie moved to Sydney in 2018 to pursue her degree in a Bachelor of Music Performance. Throughout her time at the Conservatorium, Sophie has been involved in organising and participating in a wide range of performance projects, including fundraising events, premiering original works and performing in public recitals. Sophie has also kept close contact with her home state. 
she returned to Tasmania to perform as a soloist in many concerts, including with the Argyle Orchestra and Choir, the Tasmanian Symphony Orchestra Chorus, and performing in a featured soloist with the Australian composer Elena Kastjernan. Sophie is delighted to return to the Conservatorium and perform for you all today. Sophie singt für Sie die junge Nonna von Franz Schubert, Vöglein Schwermut von Alexander von Zelinski und den Abschluss bildet Öffentlich von Hugo Wolf.
23-year-old tenor Alexander Caldwell. Alexander grew up in northern Sydney, being the youngest of three with two older sisters. Throughout his schooling life, Alexander was involved in various dance, theatre and classical productions which led to his passion for classical music. Alexander's mother's family all live in Germany, which meant that during his childhood they occasionally travelled there. Alexander's travelling also extends to his family's frequent visits to the mid-north coast in which they would camp and go caravanning. Besides music and travel, Alexander thoroughly enjoys playing football and going to the beach. During lockdown, he has been attempting new hobbies and activities such as juggling and unicycling, which he unfortunately has not mastered simultaneously just yet. Nacht und Träume von Franz Schubert und abschließend Unter blühenden Bäumen von Alexander von Semlinski. Bitte heißen Sie Alexander Cordwell und David Miller willkommen.
Introducing 21-year-old soprano Eden Schifroni. Eden grew up in Sydney watching her grandfather sing as a cantor in the synagogue every week. From a young age, Eden and her grandfather sung together and this tradition continues today. Their shared love of classical music connects them and it was her grandfather, along with the rest of her family, who encouraged her to give classical singing a chance. Throughout school, Eden was always involved with music, but especially jazz music. She played the trumpet in the school band and was part of several productions and concerts, but believes that choosing to pursue classical music after school was one of the best decisions she has made. Eden is a very active and ambitious person. She loves to travel and explore, particularly through outdoor activities such as hiking and camping. Eden is also very talented at and passionate about photography. During Sydney's COVID-19 lockdown, Eden has found enjoyment through exploring different cuisines and foods, as well as spending time with her beautiful dog, Phoenix. Eden beschließt unseren Wettbewerb mit den Liedern nach dem Gewitter von Alexander von Seminski, nur wie die Sehnsucht kennt von Franz Schubert und Gretchen am Spinnrader auch von Franz Schubert. Meine Damen und Herren, Eden Schifroni und David Miller.
and who did not understand what I said, is invited to join the Goethe Institute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for having me this afternoon. It's great to get out. It's great to meet people. It's great to have live performance. And it's great to meet young people. Thank you very much for calling me, for having me, and for letting me express what I'm feeling. And I think you share my feelings because this was an excellent performance. I think I'm glad that I was only member, uh, um, an honorary member of the jury, so I didn't have to vote. Uh, because I couldn't make up my mind, because all of you were excellent. And uh, in my family, they wouldn't let me sing. My children do sing, they even wouldn't let me play the triangle. So I'm perfect in German, but I'm low in singing. But you were perfect in German and in singing. So congratulations on this one. Um, it's great that uh, German culture has made its way up to Australia and I would say even to Tasmania, because it's just a bit further on. So, uh, and it's good to see that we can come together with all the different Origins. I mean, I've heard about the Ryans uh, when uh, I was uh, uh, well, preparing for this session. So, uh, a lot of Irish, but also, also uh, Jewish people, German people, Ukrainian people, Russian people. So, uh, it's good to come together in Australia, but it's also good to remember that we are all human beings and that there's a suffering of human beings. These days in Ukraine, because of Russian aggression. So I think there are lots of Russian artists, musicians, to share our feelings. We're human beings, we respect human rights. So we can't condemn the individuals, but it's about the action. So we are definitely against aggression. But I think Ukrainian and Russian artists, musicians, they could sit together and sing together because that's the spirit of music. Yes, yes. German composers, excellent, you know, Austrians. Um, <laughs> we share the same language. Um, we just go to composers. Um, but it's always good to listen to the music. It brings us together, it brings human beings together, and thanks for that also. But not only to our artists, but also to the organizers. Thank you very much. Great initiative. And uh, hopefully, not only the winner, but also all the finalists and maybe even more people Good idea. I would like to go to Germany, maybe for postgraduate study. We offer excellent conservatories as well. So welcome to Europe, welcome to Germany, please join us. And last word, thank you very much for the German Welfare Society for bringing people together as well. Maintaining German culture and showing that we are part of the world community because there were some thousand years where we were not part of it. But I grew up in a democratic Germany and I'm glad. Thank you very much. This was just nice words. But now, the art.
Sergeant's Guild. So, the winner of the Argent Prize is Eden.
speaking as I might be at singing. Um, but I just want to say a big thank you, obviously, to everyone that came out today, or all of the communities that came out to help um, continue this German leader, um, German leader tradition, which is really important to me to keep the art form alive. So thank you for coming out and helping us support that. Thank you to the panel um, for all your kind words, and thank you to all of the coaches who have helped me, guided me throughout this journey. Thank you to David um, for his expertise and to all of the other contestants who are also my dear friends. And thank you as well to all the undergraduate cohort for all their organization and for it running so smoothly. And I'm very grateful. So thank you. That concludes today's competition. We wish the singers all the best. Travel safely and cheese.